In this video, we're working through assignment 6-5, number 1, in which we're asked to bracket the intervals from the subdominant triad. So first we have to examine, figure out what the key is, then uh, identify what the notes of the subdominant triad, then look to see where those notes have been deployed by the composer, and then just place a bracket around them. This is C major. Um, if it was to be A minor, we would see a G sharp, a leading tone, and there is none. So in the key of C major, the fourth scale degree is F. There's a C major scale, okay, and F is the fourth scale degree. So that's the notes we're looking for. Those notes are F, A, and C. So let's track the melody, and uh, we have an E, then a G, then a C, E, G, C. Actually, if we were going to go ahead and put what chords are happening there, we would bracket those and say those are all uh, tonic harmony, right? C, E, G, tonic chord. But then it goes on. Uh, we have uh, F, A, C, A, which definitely is the uh, subdominant triad, the F, A, C. There's even one more A here. Uh, but by the time we get to the G and the G at the end of the first ending, uh, it's no longer the subdominant. So our bracket could either be here, and we could say this is the subdominant, where the A is just a non-chord tone as part of maybe a returned tonic, or possibly that uh, uh, G is the strong note in, in this measure. You know, we have two Gs, so G is also part of another important chord, and that is the dominant chord, spelled GBD. So you could uh, make a case that this is the dominant. Again, that's not really part of this assignment. This assignment was to find the, the subdominant, and, and we've already done that right there. Uh, let's look at the second ending just to be complete. Uh, we have an E, an F, a G, and an E. Honestly, if you take the E, the G, and the E, and you look at the F as a non-chord tone, uh, that's again going to be a tonic uh, harmony. Let me label that. And then at the very end, uh, you know, this could be maybe tonic, because E definitely fits in the tonic, and then this could be dominant, D fits in the dominant, and then that final C could be tonic. But just to be clear, the only thing that you're being asked to do is wherever you see a uh, subdominant chord, you know, tell us about it. And the place where you see it in this uh, example would be right there. Uh, the, uh, the first measure of the first ending, and possibly including that extra note.